about breather resist charmer breather resist charmer that album really any of their albums but we had to pick one album um that album is just like super instrumental in uh you know what were well, influential to feral locks it was like that cursive obviously dillinger's gate plan some glass jaw stuff uh, even some interpol stuff like really had a lot to do with feral locks's existence so at least for my side of it you know coming in and i did you know write a lot of you know the majority of that music so this album was really important uh, i just fucking love it it's like the slower you know mathy mathcore stuff that isn't like you know it's not really knuckle draggy or anything like that and they, you know there aren't any you know ignorant riffs it's not you know it's not stuff like that um but yeah the album is just super consistent front to fucking back to me is like just awesome and there's like zero corny anything and, and yeah i think fucking ripper yeah it's a it's a hard hitting record especially for something like came out in 2004 um i'm not too familiar with stuff like this um but yeah these guys are uh from kentucky kentucky which is pretty interesting um let's play some of it real quick so the song i I, uh picked to play because uh it's a it's a really the way they start this track i think is really badass and there's horns and who doesn't like fucking horns on a track Uh, i don't know ska nerd over here emilio I, I, well, hold on. I just, well, I don't, I don't want to like fucking real big fish. Uh, but <laughs> he loves um, that shit. He's going to get him pumped. I did. I did. I don't want to get too, uh, too sidetracked. Um, but I noticed something. Yeah. Um, and I just want to, I want to hear a little bit more about this. Um, you, you said they were from Kentucky. Kentucky. And then you, and then you said that was interesting. <laughs> I think um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's interesting about that, Jay? What's um, interesting about being from when Kentucky? I, when I think of Kentucky and the music scene in Kentucky, which, by the way, I'm very ignorant on this shit because I've never been to Kentucky. I don't know any other bands from Kentucky. Um, I think of fucking country music, like a fucking moron. Look at, them all kitty. Look at that kitty. I don't have my chihuahuas, but... They're they're little demons. You don't want to see them on camera. They're probably a cat. Probably beat my dog. By the way, David, you have a fucking gorgeous dog. I saw that little pup. You talk about my little baby boy. I saw that little pup. Come here, baby boy. (laughs) So yeah, let's listen to some uh, breather resist. Um, But yeah, I'm sorry, man. I just you said Kentucky. It was interesting. Like uh, okay, (laughs) look. I'm sorry. I I I, I if you're from Kentucky, I'm sorry, but uh, I don't know anybody from Kentucky. I'm from Kentucky. I don't know if I want to know it. No, you're not from fucking Kentucky. <laughs> you can hear the horns in the beginning. I think that track's uh, pretty interesting. Um, it's very unique. It's very unique on the the rest of the record because a lot of uh, the sounds on this record, a lot of the tracks are, I would say, chaotic, maffy, um, sludgy at times, too. Like, when they get heavy, they, they get fucking heavy. Um but they're not scared to get weird, and I fucking love that. It keeps the it keeps you interested and invested in what's going on. And uh, one you you can't just listen to this record once because there's a lot going on, um, especially with the lead guitar. I would say. Uh, what's your favorite track on this record, uh, David? Uh, a passing glance. A passing glance. That, uh, yeah, that song is just it, it's what's. It, it's just i don't know it's fucking i love it it's so good um i like the slides with it like how he has a sliding riff in there um yeah i just that's my favorite track on there the the whole fucking album though it's just good front to back and i definitely for what it is for a mathcore album and one that has like cohesion and oops sorry and a vibe um that stays consistent i i definitely for me, it's definitely a 10 out of 10 because I don't fucking, you know, that's my thing. I love that shit. It's not like one of my all time, you know, it's not like a top three records ever for me, but I love it. I love that fucking album. And you know what? Um, I've listened to Feralux first, obviously, but like I had never heard of this band. And like I can kind of hear 
like the beginnings of it you know what i mean like uh definitely with like uh like Fairlux, when you guys get like chaotic maffy like i fucking hear it in this record and um oh, cool yeah like uh it's really i'm glad you showed us this um because i probably would have not found it on my own because i just i just don't go this route typically with music um but i yeah. love this stuff I love stuff that sounds like this. Um, I love Dillinger. They're one of my favorite bands. I think that's a, a lot of people love that band. Um, you should check out uh, Botch. Botch is like, you know, another one of those bands that are godfathers of, of you the math. Of the math. Ma- ma- yeah. Bo- pretty much Bo- Botch predates this. They, I think they broke up in uh, 99. Wow. Botch. So Botch is, Botch is actually was doing stuff like this like before that's fucking nuts part. yeah so it was um yeah pretty much botch converge coalesce and dillinger and breather resist are like i mean not in that order definitely breather resist was the last one to come around out of those five four or five whatever i said but those are those bands that kind of laid the groundwork for that and then on the metal end of things definitely mashuga um is like those are the bands that all these math nerds listen to for sure yeah Me being and one they, of them. they they combine that like hardcore sound with that mathy yeah. riffy i i think of it like mathy riffy madness you know what i mean where there's so much yeah. going on and you hear it and you're like holy shit i mean yeah for sure and and that album was actually recorded at um god city which is you know converge the guitars from good converge kurt baloo's um that's his uh studio so it made sense to be yeah. recorded there. And you probably like Especially push them too. Yeah. 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 That's somebody, I mean, like for this type of album, like that's somebody you want um, recording and working with your stuff uh, just because like, you know, they're going to have a lot of advice. Like they're going to know how that should sound. And like, it worked, man. Like this record's fucking phenomenal. It's my first, you know, uh, first time with the band. Uh, but it's definitely something that's going to make its way into, uh, you know, bands I listen to more frequently. Yeah, no, uh, we're glad that you showed us this because, um, you know, it's fun to talk about shit that we know about. You know what I mean? But uh, it's way cooler for us to listen to something that we have no, we just didn't know it existed. Um, I mean, that's how the Primitive Man thing was for me. I, I actually have heard the name before, but never actually listened to an album. So I was actually pleasantly surprised by that as well so before we go to scores um Mm -hmm. i do want to play david's favorite track real quick which uh is oh let me tell you riff is because yeah um, what's the time step 49 49 uh second 49 seconds in 49 seconds that that riff right now oh man that riff is just that riff is my shit whoops one second a little screwy here Okay, so let's listen to that real quick. It sounds so fucking sick. Um, it's evil. It's like a it sounds like a bank heist to me for some reason. <laughs> but like, uh, they keep the same mood to all their wrists. They they just keep that mood for some reason. And I love how they like uh, transit. They like they kind of lead that into kind of a breakdown, and uh, the bass sounds huge, man. Like holy shit, that guy's thumping back there. What I what I definitely appreciate what that band likes to do sometimes is, you know, I think it's actually something Botch would do more often. There'd be a three four riff, like, um, like that bon da 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 da. That's like a one two three one two three but then he'd play straight punk beat a four four punk beat over it something like that which is definitely a botch thing to do and you'll find out later if you ever listen to him i'm definitely like, gonna check him out I like, they, I like that they kept that groove going and then you know punk riff over it yeah it's kind of that's kind of like an homage to a song called saint matthew's return to the womb by botch which is a fair a fair Lux used to cover it too that was a fun song to cover but anyways that's pretty, uh, I, I love, uh, like, you know, uh, so when the lead happens, it sounds like the dude is, like, doing this, like, kind of motion. I guess it's a slide. Yeah, you, you said that. Okay, so that he's, first, yeah. 
yeah. yeah, he's like sliding up the fucking guitar, and it sounds like uh, you're you're going down a drain. Like it sounds, <laughs> fucking, it sounds fucking nuts, man. Um, yeah, I would say. Bow, 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 do, nah, 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 nah. Yeah, it, it's like it pulls you out of out of the song for a second, and then you're like, holy shit! Like I, I would say, my favorite like riff on this fucking record is um, honest to God. And um, yeah, the reason why it's ten seconds in, it's, it's, it starts the song, is that reminds me of like early Macedon shit, like remission, where they would play these like little diddly doos on guitar. That's how I <laughs> kind of describe it. The guy's like, you know, he's noodling, but um, it's like evil. It's like holy shit, like what, what's about to happen? It builds tension, you know, and then they explode into it. They explode into the madness. Um, they're really good at that overall. Um, which I'm going to play that real quick, just so people get an idea of what the f- Whoops. God damn it. This thing's a little squ- I know, like, the guitar Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, like, the guitar's the main focus of that, like, right there, but Jesus Christ, that bass is walking over that track. It's amazing. I felt like yeah, the mix- whole album is, uh, mixed yeah. really well. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, I thought you guys would like, like the mix, um, especially, like, like, after I heard the Primitive Man thing, um, and then I was just like, oh yeah, wait, these guys- like doom stuff and i think they'll appreciate the mix of this because even though they're using dissonant chords and usually would want a clearer mix to kind of decipher that stuff they're just like nah we're gonna be a little messy that bass is gonna fucking punch through and it it's works so well it's fucking right sick. but but jay you make a good point like because um i had the same thought like um you and me are obviously uh um you know big uh mastodon fans it's a very uh influential band um for us just personally because i think that was like oh it's like the metal band um you know for like our um they're they're kind of a metal band of the generation right like uh they're a very good entryway into uh heavy music for sure um but like what was cool about this album is um it reminded me uh at times of uh what is it lifeblood or call of the mastodon yes where they're Absolutely. a bit more like mathy, they're a bit more uh, fucking like grindcore times. But um, um, you know, uh, Braun and uh, fucking uh, uh, whatever the fuck uh, they they kind of started out. Bill, Bill Keller, uh, they yeah. started out in yeah they they had that uh, math band uh, Lethargy uh, yep, from Lethargy. New York uh, back in like the nineties. Um, and yeah, I I don't know. There were parts of that that reminded me of that, and it made me realize like oh shit, like I like those parts. Like that's you know, like that's um, I think what attracts me to that uh, style of music. So it was cool. Yeah, and um, good observation. Uh, this so breathe or resist. It's like uh, if I was gonna describe this for somebody uh, before they listen to it, like I was I was gonna show them this, I'd be like, do you know what bottled chaos sounds like? That's what <laughs> I. That's basically what I would say. Because like uh, yeah, just like call the Macedon, like it's just fucking chaos it's chaotic um and there's so much going on i that's i think like uh for if somebody has adhd they're gonna love this shit <laughs> but i <laughs> i'm usually like hey uh, have you ever heard of system of a down or bro. pantera <laughs> because both of those bands have really weird conservative people in it you heard about the drummer right yeah what the or fuck that- Headlines later. Is that for- <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah, what I, think I heard about that as well. How is he in that oh, band? What happened? He just says crazy things about like, uh, you know. Yeah. No. Uh, wrong like, side of history type stuff. Yeah, that you dude. Shouldn't... Like, I, I was shocked. I mean, it's just like, we don't know anything fuck? about that. Yeah. <laughs> no. No, well, we don't know anything. <laughs> well. Uh, let me go on the internet here. Type away, bad uh, boy. I'm just typing my manifesto. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm just kidding. You know, whenever you see a, a you know, a white dude writing a manifesto, you better get bulletproof out. Yeah, you better, you better be scared. <laughs> but yeah, um, holy fuck, fuck, he's he's in a band that uh, a lot of uh, you know they were huge mainstream band, System of a Down, and uh, all their songs are political in some way. Some of them are goofy as fuck. They're all definitely like progressive, and they're yes. anti. It's like anti system, like uh, is this why they broke it down, out? But is like, the drummer, like a shithead. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but you can get drummers anywhere. Yeah, drummers. I bet you could. There's plenty of Armenian drummers, because they're all Armenian. Yeah, I bet there's plenty of Armenian drummers that um, you know, don't suck at at, at, at 
that personal of a level. I, uh, I, I mean, he could blast. I thought you said uh, I thought you said min, minion, uh, minion drummer. Minion you, you know, uh, minions from a uh, fucking Despicable Me. Um, <laughs> yes. Look at that That's cat on your amp. Cat on the amp, baby. Oh yeah. She's a pain in the ass, Yo, but I love he her. He said that Black Lives Matter is a propaganda tool. What the fuck? <laughs> what a psychopath. Yeah. What the fuck's One wrong with him? Those. That's some QAnon oh, shit, it. dude. Oh, I have the great Oh my god, did you did I did I send that guy that shit to you? That's guys? some fucking like 4chan poll, like, oh, you know, like Black Lives <laughs> Matter is a movement like used to fucking like uh, it's all fucking bullshit, dude. They think they're fucking like it's woke. all yeah, that's the thing. It's it's like this fucking like fake ass woke culture, but it's 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 fucked. Dude. But it's so it's ironic because of the fucking band he's in. It's like yeah. so no, I agree. goddamn ironic. It's like that is the, that is the majestic. Sort of, even if we don't express our political view or political, what am I saying? That shouldn't even be considered a political view. Even if you don't care about other people, right? And you don't want to talk about whether you do or not. Like if you want to remain apolitical, it is fucking hilarious that his entire band is always been outspoken they have access of justice for fuck's sake where the singer and tom morello have a, a, an organization yeah. together that yeah uh, that does left-leaning you know progressive political things and so it's funny that this guy is like the opposite like a QAnon weirdo is it uh fuck. so they're armenian um i could be wrong are they muslim men no, Armenian is um, it, it doesn't mean Muslim. That, oh, are they Muslim? No, yeah, I mean, are they? But yeah, they're believe at they're, at least they're Christian, and they're, they're in they, they're annexed by Turkey. Okay, or something like that. And there was just a genocide first. I I mean, it wasn't. I don't think it was on as big a scale as um, um. Germany, like the yes, the, the Germany, but it was. It was a, it was still a genocide, nonetheless. Of course. And even Hitler made remarks about it. He said something to the effect of like, um, "They'll forget about the Jewish uh, genocide, just like they did the Armenian one." Which a lot of people don't know about the Armenian genocide, even to this day. That just wasn't talked about a whole lot in comparison. Um, but it was prior to, I think. So weird that's, shit. That's fucking nuts, man. Um... Well, on, on, on a, um, back to the album, <laughs> um, <laughs> David, um, if, yeah. you, if you had to rate it, how many cats on amps would you rate this record? What? Bro, if I, cats need to get off my amp. Wait, is the cat neutered or not? If you sprang on my amp, it must die. The cat's chilling on the amp, listening to the riffs. He's putting He's his, cool. He's the neutered. cat's putting his the the cat is putting its nuts on your amp. Oh, well then zero cat nuts because that would be bad. <laughs> so or negative negative ten would be good, right? If we're talking about yeah, how many negative ten nuts, bad. So five five cats without negative nuts. ten. Well, because two negatives would make it a positive, right? So negative ten bad things. Am I doing the math right here? Know. This is a I math core album. I don't know so. how math works. <laughs> it's a math like it's it, it has math core, so I think that works. I think that's an think, appropriate yeah. rating. I fucking love this album. I don't in context of a math core album, it is a ten out of ten math core album. Okay. Um to me. Hey man, that's fine. This is I mean we disagree. For a math I'm just kidding. Uh <laughs> We probably do. I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, it wouldn't I was... be fun if we agreed on everything. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be good. okay. So you're giving it a ten. This is a flawless record. This is the record. Two thousand four Mathcore album. Absolutely, I don't see anything wrong with this album. There's nothing I would change about it, to be honest. Nice. All right, you heard it here first on Church of Riffs. David Paul, uh, he's in love with the record. Um, first ten out of ten on the stream tonight, at least. Uh, Emilio. I'm going to give this record a, uh, a 15 oh, shit. out of 10 uh, because, because of 10. Uh, 15 out of 10 because Kentucky was the 15th <laughs> state. Um, <laughs> so I <laughs> rated a 15 out of 10. Um, but no, in all seriousness, uh, it's like a 9 out of 10, man. It's really fucking good. 
it's a really good album. Like, um, I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, I wasn't, um, I mean, I guess, uh, David, just knowing you coming from you, like with your, um, recommendation, I guess it, um, it makes sense with just your taste, like, and just knowing you for a little bit, like, I know this is something that's up your alley, but no, it was a fucking phenomenal, uh, record. And I'm glad you introduced this to us. So it was, uh, probably nine out of 10, but, uh, wow. 15 out of 10 for a Kentucky joke. Well, uh, oh. Kentucky joke is great. Yeah, the Kentucky probably... joke made it a ten out of ten. <laughs> All right. Well, you heard it here first, guys. Emilio gives well, Jay, it a nine out of ten. Jay. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's everybody's dying to know I your know. fucking. I know. There we you're you're they want to know. Well, I it's blown I, up in the chat. Tell us your rating, buddy. I hate I hate to toot my own <laughs> horn, but you know, like when people come to the show, they they really they want to know what I like. Okay. You That's guys are saying. here just to kind of fill some space. Um, I give Bro, the space. record. <laughs> I give the record uh, an eight out of ten. Um, I'm gonna listen to this record again, guaranteed. Um, it's gonna be spinning for me again at some point. Um, I love the record. It was a lot of fun. Um, it doesn't sound like something from 2004. Uh. And that's a good thing because that means that, like, you know, it sounds like kind of what people are trying to do nowadays. I know that sounds weird, but um, I fucking love it. Uh, I love the chaos of it. This is good, like, music to listen to when you're working out and shit. I know that sounds cheesy as fuck, but, like, I like shit like this. Um, it reminds me of Dillinger, um, and I love Dillinger. And they have some fucking evil-ass riffs going on here some of that right. speed I don't, shit i don't want to go on about it um you know like i don't, I don't want to get too far in the weeds but i i, I kind of disagree i i don't think that this um doesn't sound like something from 2004 i think like this was the sound to like aspire to um I think you know at that time 2004 i, know I don't know weird. because well well no no but, but because you had like a, well you had like a leviathan come out in 2000 yeah. which was like you know the holy shit record because like um again like it just like it, it it ranks high on like a lot of like metal records but like you had um you know to, to david ball's point like you had like botch um you know predating this you had uh cave in which was like a different kind of sound but like i love cave i think um i think I this was kind of like a um i think this is a, a very appropriate record for 2004 this is kind of like the end of that era where we saw it disappear for a little bit you know we had to make room for new metal um and then like <laughs> you know it's, it's, and i mean it's fucking gone and like i'm happy about it and it's like you know slowly starting to creep back um but i agree with you that like there are bands trying to recreate this sound uh today and i think it's a sound that's aged well uh so i disagree with you and i agree with you at the same time if that makes any sense that's fine man we're just not friends anymore but um that's yeah fine. like uh no. Breather resist. Mathy, good, good wrist. Ah, uh, yeah. Make sure to subscribe and hit that sub notifications bell to stay current with Church of Riffs videos. We have a ton of riffs on the way. If you like this video, like it. Just like it. Please leave a comment about your favorite riff on the record. We all got a favorite riff, right? Right? Follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and. And to watch it all go live, follow us on Twitch. Church of Riffs. Math Riffs. Yeah.